you can use Copilot to create your meeting minutes within a couple of seconds. Now, before we start, you need to make sure that you have transcribed your Teams meeting. You don't need to record it, but it needs to be transcribed. And then you need to download that transcription and save it to your OneDrive for Business. So I'll do a little video on that um, a little bit later on. But once you've got your transcript, it's usually a Word document that you get from Microsoft Teams, and it's in your OneDrive, you're now able to reference it with Copilot. So let me show you our prompt for meeting minutes. So I'm going to copy and paste my meeting minute prompt. And you'll see this one's quite long. The reason why we've created this one and it's a little long is because every time we use it, we want it to create the same document. So we want the same sections, the same detail. So we've kind of really put in there exactly what we want. So we've asked Copilot to assist in converting the attached transcript. So this is where you're going to reference your Word document, your transcript. And I'm going to do that just by typing in the name of the file. Now, a quick tip, if you can't find your file when you type it in, go to the online version of Word. So you see I'm in the online version because I'm in the browser. And you are able to then browse files so you can have a look for your file. So if you're using the desktop version of Word and you can't find your file when you type it in, open up in the online version and you'll be able to browse. But my file is here. It's demo transcript for Copilot. So this is a conversation that isn't real, but uh, it's for the purposes of the video. I've also described what I need. So I've said identify key sections and I've given the sections attendees, apologies, summary of concerns, um, further discussions. I've also asked Copilot to keep that order. Now that's another tip when you're prompting. Every time we use this, it did change the order of the section. So I've told Copilot to keep to that order. I've asked it to summarize discussions, highlight decisions, list all of the action items, the date and the responsible party. I've asked it to um, format for clarity. So I've said, use full sentences, use tables where appropriate, don't use bullet points. Another quick tip is you can tell Copilot what not to do. I then ask Copilot to format the minutes so we can send them to the participants for record keeping purposes. So I've told Copilot who's gonna be reading this document. So I've given it a little bit of context and who the audience is. Now I'm going to generate those meeting minutes and you'll see in a couple of seconds, it's going to create a nice document with my attendees. It's got apologies, introductions, it's got all of the sections that I uh, asked it to create. And you'll see it's not using bullet points, it's using full sentences. It's got my actions, it's got further discussions, it's got recommendations, everything in there that I've asked it to create, uh, date of next meeting. So if you are going to be using Copilot for your meeting minutes, try and start a brand new uh, Word document because you're creating a new meeting minute document. But you'll see that's just done it in a few seconds and I've got my action items and a nice table as well. So hopefully this is a, a quick tip to help you as you're creating meeting minutes with Copilot.